Hi all, I figured I'd do a little bit more of a sit down informal conversation this time because it's taken a minute to really digest this situation and see how best to respond in the long run. There were a few different stages, I would say, or a few different phases since the first eruption happened um, over a month ago. At first, there is a relatively ignorant phase where many people weren't sure exactly what was going on, the shelters weren't prepared, and personally, as an individual who was here in the country at the time, we had no idea what to expect or how best to act or what the right channels were. So we really were you know, doing everything we could to make sure we were keeping uh, keeping up to date with the times and then there was a phase where we realized that okay hold on it's not just rush and go and give it's stop pause look and I was grateful that at that time I was able to be on the mainland because it gave me the opportunity to go to the shelters and I am most grateful for the donations received by PayPal because those were the donations that funded the gifts of light and encouragement that um, my team and I took alongside us whilst we gauged the situation at hand at the various different shelters. In the past couple of days we were fortunate enough to be invited by a shelter where one of the shelters that we'd gone to where we felt uh, we could give the best help with regards to perhaps some structural organization. Um, it was obvious in looking around that privacy was the biggest issue for this shelter in particular. And it, when you lose a home, privacy, and you're living with other people, privacy is a number one concern, and that affects your mental health and the reflection you see on yourself and your own stability. Therefore, we found it was crucial that we focused our efforts on speaking to the residents and asking what, how they would, what we could do to help, just in the time, what we could do to help. I initially, we thought perhaps a sleeping arrangement, but then issues came up that I had I had, I had heard of, but in the desire to just do good and hadn't even computed, and it was really humbling to step back and think, okay, stop. This is not the way to move forward. We have listened what's needed. And we were able to build a changing room, two changing rooms, and some shelving, provide some shelving, which if you, I mean, if you have, if your bedroom is messy and you're trying to accomplish something in the day, you're probably a little off, right? But once you've cleaned your room, it's like you can see the whole lay of the land. And that, that was the goal behind this. It was whilst these evacuees are in this transitionary period, we felt as though the best use for the funds that we had as we move forward was to provide some more, something a little bit more structural for their privacy and also for, to give them space in their mind to think, grow and evaluate. Um, and again, another learning moment when we went outside to grab a little piece of wood for one of the shelves and one of the evacuees took us to the side and said, so does this mean you're building this? And, you know, we're grateful, but does this mean that we're gonna be here for a long time? And my heart rose, sunk and rose at the same time because I could see the despair on their face and that this, this, this gesture was perhaps something that could be misconstrued and then my heart raised because it i because i'm because we're so deeply resonated in what the mission of this is and it's about helping your neighbor feel at home whilst they're in a time of discomfort and pulling from my own trauma i was able to well my my teammate and i were able to impart the wish that this structure and this fund essentially is giving and bringing and um, after that conversation a download came to me of words that essentially and ended up resulted in me grabbing a crayon and 
writing on the outside of the changing room, which I think is going to be our motto or part of the mission statement. <laughs> but it was, this place isn't for forever. So whilst you're here, help your neighbor feel at home. And that felt right. That is what feels right. That is the long-term strategy that feels right. So as of now, we're building the team, ensuring that this project and this fund could continue with different projects with this thesis in mind, the idea of helping our neighbor. And together, everybody is doing their own drop in their bucket to do that. And I think it is absolutely beautiful to look at a society at a time when they're being greatly challenged and see how despite the differences, because it is a country divided, the desire is to help one another and to appreciate one another and to dig into our closets and see, do our spring cleaning, see what clothes we don't need and what we would be better purposed elsewhere. It's absolutely beautiful. And I look forward to the Renaissance that this time is giving this country, this very poor country, the opportunity to move forward with. And I'm grateful that all of the, that the creative community is banded together in such a beautiful way. I truly believe that the best way to help this country in the long run, in any time, in any framework, is to give the creatives a voice and a platform on which to believe in their craft and let the world know of the talent. <laughs> this wonderful little known country in the Caribbean. Brief update on the volcano. Soufrer Armama has not erupted since the 22nd of April and the uh, scientists have lowered the level of alert from red to orange but that don't mean she's calmed down. She's still steaming. There's still long periods of earthquakes that are being witnessed and she could still blow at any time. But right now what we have is a beautiful window of opportunity to catch ourselves and to unite in the armor, ash clad armor that she has forged for us. And I could not be more proud of the people of my country and you wonderful human beings who have donated, spent time, even thinking about the plight of this nation currently. And I couldn't have asked for a wonderful, more supportive community. And I look forward to making you, continuing to make you proud. We have a project in the works. We're just confirming the team moving forward. Uh, the bulk share of the donations have yet to be spent um, something st stuck in my head pretty quick that said, this is long term, don't let it all go now. Focus on how, focus your time, for, the best way to spend this money is to think about how to spend it. And let the answer reveal, reveal itself. And the universe will do its work. Thankfully, thankfully, the universe is doing its work and I'm grateful for the team that is building and the encouragement that this fund is still receiving. And thank you for all of your messages of being proud of me. It's a little overwhelming to keep posting everything here. I don't really want to say that, hey, look, we did this today. And <laughs> at a certain point, it feels contrived. So do know that the work still goes on. Uh, a team is being built and the strategy, baby, we on it. Thank you again for your continued support. And I look forward to you all coming to visit this beautiful secret of the world known as St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Bye for now.